you brought that rat with you, the captain's gonna turn this boat right around, and no one will be going anywhere. Understand? It'd be a nice start to a vacation, though, wouldn't it? Let me see the other pocket. Hi, Mom. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, me too. Fifteen across, over your head and on top of your mouth. That's been an American word like popsicle or ranch dressing. Roof. Roof? Roof. Over your head and the roof of your mouth. Okay. Uh, Twelve down. Where you get tied up. Wolf. 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 Where you tie up boats. No. Huh. Wolf doesn't fit. How many letters, huh? How many letters? Uh, four. Okay. Port. Pier. Catalina. What's with the golf carts? It's a way small island. We patrol in golf carts? No way. Hey, golf carts are the best. Way less pollution, cheap, no traffic jams. What's with your foot? Golf cart. <laughs>
that dog doing? He's sitting on the ground. Man, I hate police dogs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now you're talking. Let's go check out the ferry. They have to be getting the drugs onto the island somehow. Snow is always something. Here. Towards food. Oh no. Thanks. I'm fine. I got a part-time job here. We are now boarding Catalina Island. Return to Los Angeles. We apologize for the delay. We remind you again, no pets on board. And please use extra care when walking on the dock. Love you. It may still be a little Oh, cooking lunch. Sausages. <laughs> She thinks I'm a bad influence. I don't think so.
off. Are you okay? Oh, no, I'm fine. Is it yours? We were just coming back from the ferry. Oh. Thanks for bringing him in. Most drivers don't. Is he gonna die? Mm -hmm. Looks like a survivor to me. Mm -hmm. No license tag. Why is that bad? It means he's probably a stray. It means I won't get paid for treating him. And means they'll uh, he'll end up in the pound. Then what? No one claims him or adopts him. He's he's put to sleep. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh? <gasps> it was so gross. There's vomit everywhere. They had to hose down the whole dock. My daughter. This mutant moron was talking to his rat on the ferry. A mutant moron? Mom, talking to a rat. The kid's special ed. Oh, hi. I don't think anything's broken. This will make him sleepy. I'll take him in there and x-ray him, and I'll put a couple of stitches in that wound. Oh. Excuse me, doctor. Right, right there. While we're waiting for this to work, maybe Emma could fix you something? Peanut butter and jelly shake? Ah. Can I help? something he didn't like. Psst. Psst. Go Wait. away. Hey, laddie, go get the telephone. Go on, lad. I've got to make a phone call. Hurry, before the injection kicks in. Go on, lad. Fetch, fetch. Dad! 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 He can talk! He can talk! <sighs> Billy, I thought the place was on fire. He can talk! Who can talk? He can. He just talked to me. The dog? Oh. Go on. This is my dad. Oh. Go on. Say something. Billy. He can talk. He has a funny accent and everything. Say something. Tell me to go get the phone. Billy. Mm. Well, I'd better get back. Craig. Why'd you do that? I no talk to people, lad. Okay? I know what? I do not talk to people. You talk to me. You're a kid. So? So no one believes you. This is urgent. Go get the phone. Come on. The injection's making me very sleepy. You gonna make a phone call? No, I'm going to eat it. 911. That's the police. Dial. Nine, one, one. Come on, come on. Code three eight, code three eight. Police officer, kid. Hello? Hello? Um. Hello? Hi. Hello? This is 
Billy. I think he said a police officer had been kidnapped. He's sort of a friend. I'm ten. Come on, come on. Say something. Please. I hope that's not long distance. Mom hates it when the dogs run up big phone bills. Caught up a tree. Oh. Let's go, dude. Excuse me, sir. What? Has anyone been kidnapped? What? Have any of your police officers been kidnapped? Oh, go away. Like yesterday. Go away. Or today. Go away. Mom's got a car phone if he needs it. Who? After any kind of shock, animals and people can get very dehydrated. Do you know what dehydration is? Give him lots of water when he wakes up. And uh, keep an eye on him. If he starts to bite off the splint, you'll have to distract him. Talk to him. Talk to him? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, yes. Right. You see, there's talking to animals. And, and then there's talking to them. Neat house. What are these for? They're spare eyeballs for the turret. All right. Mom, can we stay for dinner? Oh, I didn't know we'd been invited. We haven't yet. Can we stay for dinner? 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 Oh, oh, yes. Right. Come on, I'm starved. Emma? For some reason or other, we're not invited out often. Try not to blow it. OK. I'll bet you're a terrible cook. Don't get too attached. We may belong to someone. Um, could he be a policeman, stop? Yeah. The police use Airedales a lot, especially the British. It's a Scottish breed. Scottish? Like my grandfather. Aye, lass, I do think you're getting any bigger. I knew talk to people. Where'd you learn Scots? Oh, um, from TV. Did you know that you can cook food by passing an electric current through it? A DC, of course. If you're going to stay, you should wear these. Maybe I should have my calls forwarded. Can I use your phone? Of course. Everyone like corn? <laughs>
that would talk you know the main difference between animals and people there isn't one different species are better at different things <laughs> humans do certain kinds of I thinking better Keep but going. Keep going. the animals do communicate Stop. dinner's ready The theory behind plug-in food isn't new, it, it's making it work. No, 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 they, they taste fine. You've been on the island long? Well, it's my second year. It's a great place to work. Well, how, how about you? Oh, I was born here. I went away to school, but I was born here. Then when she knew she was going to have me, she came back, so I could be an islander, too. A shock the island may never recover from. Because <laughs> she wasn't married. I'm a legitimate. Neat, huh? Emma belongs to the hit-them-over-the-head-with-the-brick school of chit-chat. Dad, can we show the church? Sure. Tomorrow's the big day. You try to sell it. Right. Then I can come live with him. That's the plan. I think the gearing's broken again. It's just a loose screw. So, does it have a temperature? Coffee? That'd be great. Here, let me get, give you a hand with it. Oh, no, no. We've got a system. All right. Billy, did that plant just move? Yeah. They're on a turntable so that the sun gets to all sides. You suppose your dad has any wine glasses left?
wake up. Wake up, come on. Talk to me. Sergeant Turner and Officer Quayle. You didn't call 911 yesterday, did you? I'm really sorry. Will you let me talk to him? Go for it, Dad. Why did you think a policeman had been kidnapped? Did someone tell you to call the police? So you were playing a game. Oh. I'm sorry. Billy, I keep trying to remember what being 10 was like. I know, I know. I promise not to do it again. I have to go to work. First day. Mrs. Bentley's going to fix you lunch. You're going to be okay for a couple hours, right? Okay. We'll talk later. Bye. Right then. Dad's gone. Get dialing. No. No? I promised Dad I wouldn't call the police again. Hmm. Well, maybe if you'd talk to Dad. No. Why not? I know talk to people. I keep telling her. Hey! Where are you going? Down to the harbor. Hey! What? I'll help you. Sherlock. Sherlock. Sherlock what? You're a pedantic wee. Sherlock what? Who? Sherlock Holmes. That's me. Don't push it. Downstairs is the famous casino theater. 
And upstairs is a famous casino ball room. Come on! The Avalon Casino, which is almost completely circular, was built by William Wrigley, who was famous for chewing gum. He started building it in 1928 and didn't finish it until 1929. Because he had to remove the mountain. Excuse me, but if there's no gambling, why is it called a casino? Beats me. And now, before we go upstairs to the spacious casino ballroom, you'll have a few minutes to buy some of the many modestly priced, tacky souvenirs at the other end of the foyer. No dogs allowed. But we're looking for Mike. Mike? The police officer that was kidnapped. What police officer? Sherlock Bones. This is Sherlock Bones. He sniffs out drugs. Except his handler, Mike, was kidnapped by the two drug smugglers, and now we've got to find him. How do you know all this? Let me guess. The dog told you. <laughs> I thought you were going to be fun. Grow up. Sherlock, say something to her. Please, she's a kid too. What? I said I wouldn't kid you. Huh. No, no, it wasn't the dog. I overheard this man. A man? One man. Talking to himself? Yes. No. Two men. Talking to each other. I don't believe you. No, really. One was fat, had a beard, and a limp. And the other one? Well, he didn't. They were on the ferry yesterday, and I overheard them talking about how they were keeping this policeman prisoner. Prisoner? Where? Casino. Here? Where? In a trash can? <coughs> no. Um. Uh, uh, upstairs. <coughs> that dog's got ear mites. And Sherlock Bones is gonna track him down upstairs. They're never gonna let a dog upstairs. I've got an idea. by the big bands of the 30s and 40s. Excuse me, what kind of music do they play? Sorry, you're only allowed one question. These ramps are specially designed to help with the large groups of dance goers and avoid people being trampled. The ballroom dance floor is also always completely circular.
That's not a real CNI dog. He doesn't know that. And now, if you all step outside onto the balcony, you'll be treated to yet another Christmas. Right, bingo, here we are. Come on, stop lying around. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What can you smell? Beer, pizza, anchovies, old socks, dead rats. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, sorry. There's a door back here. Uh, can you see anything? There's someone in there. And? And he's tied up with a rope. Does he have any hair? No. That's Mike. Go on, lad. Now what's happening? He's got something. And? And? And he's pushing it under the door. <laughs> It says, Scotland Yard. It's his police ID. Look out, lad. Over there. See the man with the leg? Who's that? One of the drug smugglers who kidnapped him, Mike and me. Get ready. Get ready. Go! Twelve dash eleven seven F, causing a disturbance in a public place. That was on the Catalina ferry. Karina panic. Nineteen twelve dash eleven dash sixty eight A, causing a disturbance in a public place. That was in the restaurant. Karina panic. One seven two dash fourteen, making a false report to a police officer concerning two non-existent men overheard on the ferry. Restaurant again. Karina panic. One seven three dash sixteen sub paragraph three. Making a false 911 call. Oh, yes, well, we talked about that. Didn't do much good, did it? 
moment you wait for me at the gym. Uh, Tom? It said, Detective, Honest. What about the two men you overheard? The two men on the ferry? Well, I made them up. If I sell the turf today, things will be different. We'll have money. How can I tell your mom you should live here if you don't know the difference between playing and imagining. Dad, if I told you the truth... Try me. You wouldn't believe me. One of the kids come up to the house. We've got a pool, the, the housekeeper's there, and at least they could swim. Mom! Very kind, thanks. But what about Sherlock Bones? Who? The dog! It's a very small island. I'm sure someone will spot him. But only if you promise not to go off again. I want to hear you say it. I promise I won't go anywhere. Billy, it's when you wander off by yourself. I want you to promise not to go anywhere without Emma for the rest of the day. I promise not to go anywhere without Emma for the rest of the day. somewhere when they saw Sherlock Bones and me. You can't swim? No. If we go together, we can find Sherlock Bones and he'll find Mike. Why can't you swim? I don't know. Don't believe you. Everyone can swim. You better call your dad. If we got Mike's ID back out of the harbor... Over here. What are you doing over there? Trying to get down. Where have you been? Where? The harbor. What were you doing there? Uh, tracking Mike down. You found him? I'm a police dog. Stop lying around. Where are we going? To rescue Mike. We've got to get back to the harbor. Sherlock, wait. I Come can't. On, lad. Nothing but I excuses, promised Dad I wouldn't excuses, go anywhere excuses, without excuses. Emma. On, You've got to ask her to come, too. Myself. Sherlock, please. If you just talk to Emma, then she'd believe me. And we can all go and look for Mike together. Please. I don't talk to people. You talk to me, and I'm a person. Oh, barely. Oh. Come on, lad. Whoa! 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 I called you dad at the restaurant. You're right, you can't swim. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Emma, you've got to swear not to tell a living soul. We've just discovered you from outer space, right? Don't you hate it when that happens? Swear! Is this gonna be something really retarded? Swear! Okay, okay, on my mother's grave. But your mother's not dead. Get on with it. Right. Well, um, Sherlock Bones has something he wants to say to you. Okay? 
Oh, well, okay. See? 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 Go on. To be or not to be, that is the question. Ow! My uncle does that at parties. What? Talks without moving his lips. Aye, but can he do the complete speech? See? You can see his lips moving. Dogs don't have lips. Oh, I find that very, very hurtful. Go on, say something, please. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Wow. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous wow. night while our damp we washed and the lawyers were squeaking. To that effect, uh, I don't think that's right. Oh, oh, never mind. Let's go kick some American butt. Come on, lads. Mom says animals talking is theoretically possible because we've all got language centers in our brains, even animals. Hey. Sorry. Ours are on the left, except in left-handed people, they're on the right. But everyone's got a language center. Oh, you probably have two or three. Oh. Yo, kid, got your dad's wheels there. The end? Oh, you can just leave it outside. Sherlock, what are you doing? Shh. Oh, yeah, you sure? Aye, my dad will be right back. Okay, here. Ink the page for me, will you? Dog friendly? Uh-huh. Yeah? Where's your accent from, kid? Uh, uh Scotland. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Watch him play soccer on TV. What a bunch of bozo. How do you think your dog was friendly? This isn't my dog. Sherlock? What are you doing? Get in. Sherlock? I'm driving. It's against the law. Billy, there's no law against dogs driving golf carts. How old are you? Forty-seven. See? Come on. Right. Sherlock! What? What? Your legs are too short. Hmm? How are you going to reach the pedal? I'm not. You are. Come on, lass. All right. Oh, no. Put the pedal to the metal, lass. Go. Oh, this is fun. Relax. Enjoy yourselves. It's a bunny with you from up there.
Peterson. I'm here to see your remote control turtle. That's a dog. Keeps flying. It's a police dog. That's what he's supposed to do. Go back to the phone.
Sorry, boys. He cut off the boat. That's not his dog. He's a good guard dog, but he's not real fond of kids. I know how he feels. Captain Gavin Keene, icebreaker, Marina Del Rey, Los Angeles. Now I'll see he doesn't get loose again. Out there somewhere. Okay. Dad, this man had a rope, and he lost on Sherlock Bones, and he put on this fake collar with this fake name. What do you mean, fake name? How do you know it wasn't his dog? The dog slipped his collar and ran away, and his owner caught him and put his collar back on again. He didn't. How do you know? If you told me, I wouldn't believe you. Emma! He must have bumped into a rock and turned himself off. How do you know it's a he? Well... You tell him? He thinks I'm a liar. Billy. What part do you have a problem with? Well... The policeman tied up in the casino? Well... The dog talking, right? Well... How about the time the policeman gave him his ID and he dropped it in the sea? Well... Be right back. Billy, you can still come here for vacations. Your mom is right. Maybe I am a bad influence. I had a first grade teacher like that. They're leaving and they're gonna throw the dog overboard. But how does he know? Gunter can lip read. I bet they're gonna drown the policeman too. Come on. <laughs> Well, I got this for you. It's a dog leash. I'm... It's a really nice one. I bought one for my grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put that on there. All right. And then there's this cord. And it's got this button. Oh, you're going to have such right. a good time. And then just yes. let her go. go. And her go. Off you go. Excuse me, but I think you should know we have called the police and you should save yourself a lot of trouble by letting the policeman and the dog go and giving yourself up. Trevor 
work underwater? Uh, a hundred feet? Why? Why? I think I get it. Yeah. Hey! Oh, sorry. Come on! Man. I used to be a professional ice skater. Yes, I think I did. It's all balanced. Can you drive a motor? <laughs>
Where's Sherlock? Just thought I'd say thanks very much. Uh, thought it was a goner there for a minute. How? <coughs> Sherlock? He doesn't like all that sensitive emotional stuff. Oh. Well, ta-da. Bye. <laughs> thanks. Cheers. Come on, mate. Are you not going to say goodbye? Well? Bye, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> 